The Rural Teacher Residency Program is built around several elements that we feel are critical to its success. A residency experience, co-teaching, collaboration with a focus on rural districts, conducting action research in the context of a lot of professional development. These important factors working together is allowing candidates to exit our program very ready to begin their first year in teaching. One of the real benefits to the RTR program is it's a year-long residency. They work with their mentor teacher in their classroom before the school year starts to set up the classroom for the year, and then they go to the very last day. They're there at our school site for four days a week. They're actually there even before school starts because it's important that they see what all that is to get ready for school. Anything else that occurs in the year, they experience all of it. It allows you to spend and focus your time in this environment of learning as well as educating others. The impact that the residents have had on my students has been of significant value. They want to go to college and they're looking at it as more of a realistic goal for them now. Because that person will be with us for an entire year, we find that it's critical that they feel like they are an integral part of our campus. I make sure that we take a couple of steps from the very beginning to give them access to our campus. At our school, at all of our assemblies, they are our teachers. I immediately felt like, you know, you're part of our school. We're going to do whatever we can for you to make you into the best teacher that we know how and that we can give you all the experiences that you need. You have the opportunity to build relationships with the students and watch them develop and you become emotionally attached as well. I was getting to see the impact of my teaching real time. Being in residency, uh, it gives it gives us both something to count on. I'm going to be here every day, she's going to be here every day. So I think the partnership that we have through the RTR program is just a way to really immerse us both in a really, really rich educational experience. Prior to beginning the Rural Teacher Residency Program, university faculty spent months collaborating with our partners in the school districts to ensure that we had a shared vision of what this credential would look like and to determine the best way to meet candidate needs. University faculty came together to redesign courses and to reimagine an approach to teacher education that both allowed us to meet our standards at a high level, but also to be very relevant to the public schools. I think one of the key features of the Rural Teacher Residency Program is the way that the residents are selected in a collaborative, cooperative process. What they do really is uh, participate in an interview and make decisions together. And that may sound like common sense, but it happens nowhere else in higher education. We ranked our mentors, and the mentors each ranked us. They put that stuff together and kind of fit us. I went into each classroom and was just so impressed, and I, I thought, I'm going into this to learn from people who have proven to be professionals in their craft. Before residents begin their experience in the program, we hold a summer workshop in which mentor teachers and resident teachers come together to participate in a full week of activities intended to help them know one another, develop an awareness of each other's collaboration styles, and to learn in depth about co-teaching. Understanding the co-teaching model is extremely important. All the ways in which we can teach together and why that makes it a better classroom. That's another way that's improved my teaching is just having, having two teachers. The co-teaching model is extremely valuable. When we get in here together, we're forced to be reckoned with. <laughs> Our kids really learn stuff because if they don't get it the way I say it, she says it a different way. A central feature of the RTR program is collaboration at its deepest, most fundamental level. It's all about collaboration, relationships, and partnerships. This whole year has been about collaboration. I've collaborated with my mentor, I've collaborated with my classmates and colleagues, I've collaborated with the staff, I've collaborated with the parent-teacher group and my principal on the after-school club that I started. I would say that this year has been all about collaboration and preparing to collaborate. One of the best things I think about the RTR program is a cohort model, that the students begin as a cohort and they spend the whole year taking, most of the classes they take are together. 
We really bonded and we got tremendous value out of that. I really felt like I was failing in the area of delivering choral reading as a lesson instruction. But then I got together with my the people in my cohort and said, this is what's going on. And it was at first it was a vent session, but then it became a let's solve this. And the ideas that came out of it are things I'll be using for other things as well as for that initial solution as well. It's stuff that's gonna live on. We're building incredible relationships, um, really complementing each other. It builds a support system that provides opportunities for students to get support through a highly concentrated, highly intense program. And I think without that cohort, they would struggle a lot more. Candidates in the RTR program earn both a teaching credential, either a multiple subject teaching credential or an education specialist credential, and a Master of Arts degree in education. One of the things they do for their MA is complete an action research study. Action research is a systematic process of inquiring about your practice using the tools of research. You're collecting specific data around a specific question and looking really in depth at some aspect of your practice that you're wanting to understand better and usually improve. And it's a heuristic device, which means that the act of doing that process is the learning. When they conduct their action research and they display the results and we talk and discuss it, I'm actually able to take a lot of that data and reflect on my own teaching. Like this year we've discussed a lot of things that have happened in math and that have to do with her action research and I go, okay, well maybe I need to change the way I teach. You know, even though she's doing the action research, I'm really able to use that and for myself and go, how can I make the classroom a better place? My action research project has taught me a lot as far as how much data can actually influence your teaching strategies. Working in a small group setting, working with English language learners, and the strategies that I implemented, I mean, I walked away from it really realizing how much data collection really does work and how effective it is in changing my teaching strategies. So the work becomes evidence-based, and it's all about student success. It's a win-win for everybody. In the Rural Teacher Residency Program, candidates engage in high-level professional development right alongside their mentor. Having professional development opportunities means that we can make sure everyone has the same kind of information that we want to share with respect to learning how to teach. You really are entering a program that has documented success already. The research findings have already spoken to the fact that having that collaboration with a co-teacher is hugely successful, even in comparison to just having a student teacher. So it's really exciting to see that and know that, wow, you're a part of something that already has documented success and this is how you can make it that much more successful. Imagine this experience to be an opportunity for you to become a part of a school where you get to learn about that school, participate in that culture, uh, experience the act of teaching, and then take it all in as a way of building what you want to be as a teacher in the future. And the goal in the RTR program is to train teachers to work with the unique needs of a rural environment. Our program is looking for candidates who have that passion for serving students who may be underserved for a variety of reasons. I feel like I'm ready to go and be a teacher. I actually have a job for next year in a rural community, and I feel like I really got to understand what rural communities were like, what sort of population of children I would be working with, the diversity that exists. The RTR program was really good at having the classes and the pedagogy that surrounded what we would be affecting in the classrooms and applying it into the classrooms. No matter how seemingly impossible it all is, uh, don't take your eyes off the prize and you make it. We try to help them with resiliency, to overcome obstacles, to persist through challenges. I think that's important for the skill of teacher and person. I think a lot of things you'll learn in our program make us better people, but for sure I think it prepares us to be better teachers. I envision the RTR pathway just extending and growing into a whole other areas of the School of Education. I mean, I love it. I enjoy it. It's fun for me as a teacher to be a co-teacher, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, is that my students are learning more, and it's really obvious, and they're happier, and it's just a better deal all the way around.